Good day, dear peeps. My name is Grips, and welcome back to Assemble with Care, one of my new favorite little story games. Uh, where we haven't actually heard that much of the story yet, we're halfway through it, and we seem like we're not really in a lot of places. The only thing that we really heard was that Helena, the sister of the restaurant owner, uh, basically came back and roasted the hell out of any progress that we'd ever made. So, I don't know whether or not if Carmen is ever gonna have her restaurant back just because uh, of the sheer lack of funding or anything, I have no idea. But all I want is just to craft more stuff, I just want to reassemble more old things. And also, I came to the sort of realization that me saying this was 1979, still 1979, was pretty stupid because there's a lot of items here which I do not think are in 1979. So I have no idea when we actually are. All I can really guess is we're somewhere pre 2000s and then, uh, well, in, in northern Italy somewhere. That's all I can guess. But let's build this, or, or well, let's restore this. I don't know what could be wrong with a good old Game Boy. Color maybe? I don't remember which one actually the had the flip the switch or the flip screen. The whole town was busy getting ready. I had more work than I knew what to do with. Hmm. When Joseph called with another job, I was craving the cool quiet of his and Izzy's seafront house. Hmm, nice. I'd barely reached their front door when I heard someone calling me. Psst. Maria, I need your help. Quickly! It's top secret. Do you always have a bandage? Do you always keep like, I don't know, crashing on that one side of your face. It was Izzy, peeking out from the side of the house. She beckoned for me to follow her. Hmm. She led me through to a beautiful, unruly garden, overflowing with flowers of I wish there were... Color. Nestled among them was a playhouse, its doorway almost completely obscured by a towering rose bush. I know that there's visuals here, but there's just a lot of white going on. I wish there were sort of more visuals to this specific story element. To squeeze past it and breathe in real small, like this. Izzy took in a big gulp of air and crawled through the gap and into the playhouse. But the voice acting and everything else, even like the sounds and music is all very nice. And the art style there is very nice. I hadn't planned on crawling in the dirt today, but the life of a repair woman never did run smooth. I don't know what you expected. You're wearing overalls, the you'll be fine. Inside, there was an electronic toy. Not exactly the usual stock in my parents' antique shop. Hmm. I uh, had an accident. I didn't do it on purpose or anything. Oh, I bet. Can't turn on anymore. Hmm. Did can you pour water on me? it? Yes, of course I can, little girl. Although I have, this is the point where I am. Start. Oh, you cracked the screen. Oh, it seems like it anyway. Okay. Oh, so we are we actually in her playhouse? That's sort of fun. Let's just start to unpack everything. Um, the battery? Put that there. Yes. Oh, just grab the entire bat. Oh yeah, I forgot you could just sort of slip that off. Mm, right, okay. So there's m there seems to be m multiple things wrong with this. Okay, so this one is definitely an issue. Put that in there. Grab this card, because that is absolutely useless. Um, this seems to still work. Oh, this, this seems to still work somewhat fine. So just put that there. Uh, and then this in, hold on, in that. Everything else seems to be working fine, so I don't see the reason why we would need to replace anything else. Just put that there. Battery back in. Wait, no, actually, I don't want the battery back, back in. I just wanna, ah, here we go. Now we're having some other problems. Again, I, I bet it's not this easy peasy. Uh, like, it's not specifically everything is labeled, but I, I will say things are somewhat or usually, when it comes to things, they're crafted intuitively so they can be uh, put together easily. So, um, or easily and understandably, even for people who don't really know what they're doing. So, next time you got something like an old relic like this lying around, you could try to work on it yourself, if you're daring enough. I know that a lot of items, especially from like the 80s and 70s today, are probably worth too much to actually let them uh, be broken. So, you know, maybe take my advice with the... Uh, just a just a hint, <laughs> just a hint of criticism. Okay, so I didn't notice this thing needs to completely come off because that's broken. Yes, put that there, and this there. Yes. I don't know which was in which. Oh, was it the wrong one? Oh, okay, maybe there was the was the wrong one. Okay. Oh, and the light in this one. Okay, pull that over there. Yes. Sort of cool that the three streaks also there to sort of show it. Put that. 
and then the battery back in and put that to a close and then Oh, the game, of course, the game. Forest Adventure, Oh, look at that art style, Yokoi, pop and play. I'm pretty sure that's not what we called it, but- Do play games as well? Uh, no, they don't, <laughs> stupid child. <laughs> hey, nice. Can you show me how to play? I tried before, but it was so hard. Oh, oh, wait, the A button's broken. I did I not notice that. the end of the level. Can you try again? I can try again. When I uh, actually um, put the take this entire thing apart because I did not notice that the A key was broken. Okay, so everything else needs to just come right on out. Get out of here. Sorry, sorry, kiddo. I don't mean to ruin your stuff, but there you go. Get that A key back in there. How did you break an A key? I mean, respect for using this thing for so long, but my God. Um... Uh, am I remembering it? I can't see. Is this is this right? Hold on. Uh, the battery's in, right? Nothing. Maybe there's an issue with the battery. Oh, yeah, the entire battery isn't in. I'm an idiot. <laughs> hey, okay, so th that's... I think it's synced up right now. Okay. Eh? You're not gonna work? Pop and play? No? You're not gonna, you're not gonna let me play video games? Oh, come on. Oh, oh, it's because it's the game, isn't it? Hold on, uh, I'll put you down. Um, if I can, how do I, uh, off? Okay, there we go. Put that in, yes, and there we go. Pop and play, yes. I wanna play, come on, let me play. Oh, 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 wow, this is some tacky mechanics. I can do this though, even though I only have one hand or one finger per button. Hello. Uh, what? Oh. Oh, there we go. I got it. Sort of like Pokemon Snap situation we've got going on here. Okay, yeah, I admit, games were pretty primitive back then. We have come far, okay. Uh, so... But th this was a hella entertaining when I was young. I watched Izzy retreat into its screen, taking refuge in a three-inch world of her own. Hmm. Video games have always been the most effective type of escapism, because you literally... It's an interactable media. It's awesome. Well, I'd better head inside. Your dad is waiting for me. Please don't tell him about the game. He'll think I broke it on purpose. <laughs> Why would he think that? Because, uh... Well, I kind of dropped Aww. it really hard at the wall. Oh. Izzy looked down, scuffing her shoes on the worn floor of the playhouse. My dad said I have to go to this stupid festival tomorrow and put on a stupid dress, and I don't want to. All he cares about is working. He never wants to see me unless it's for his job. I'm not going. He can't make me. Oh. I'm sorry, Izzy. Dad, Izzy dove back through the rose bush and disappeared into the wilds of the garden. She was so young. She couldn't be expected to see that her dad was struggling, too. Mm. People grieve in different ways. It made me think. Had I really tried hard enough to understand my parents' point of view? True. I was so focused on the adventures ahead of me. Maybe I didn't care enough about leaving them behind. Mm. It's always important to reflect on your own viewpoint against someone else's, even though you don't want to. That is... I think one of, personally, one of the biggest, um, like, steps to maturing, that's being able to see things from other people's perspective. If you don't learn that, you don't really mature in the same way, I think. Oh, we're gonna work with a little watch? Have you ever seen, like, an actual Leaving watchmaker in the garden, work with that stuff? It's insane. The front of the house and rang the it's door. always, like, old men with, like, all these very intricate, to intricate little tools. Okay. It was only then I noticed my favorite overalls covered in grass stains. I scrubbed desperately, but it was too late. Maria, what are you doing? What happened to your clothes? I was, uh, repairing a lawn mower. Mm. How unusual. Well, do come in. The job I've got for you is a little more delicate. Hmm. 
totally embarrassed, I walked into an orderly room. Am I getting paid for this? I can't. Ledgers. So this was his office. Those parts can't come cheap, especially. I don't think anyone just has a Game Boy like freaking like a Game Boy screen just in their back pocket. That 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 stuff needs to be ordered from someplace. You must be so busy getting ready for the festival. Are you looking forward to it? Of course. It's traditional for the mayor to judge food from every cafe and restaurant in town. Ooh. I'll like sort of Starting Valley style? The best chef in Bella Riva by this time tomorrow. Speaking of which. He unclipped the watch from his wrist and very carefully handed it to me. Mmm. I'll have a tight schedule to follow, but my watch stopped working a while ago. Could you see if you can make it tick again? Yes, I could. Ooh. Now this is some delicate crap. Okay, well, he just straight up broke the glass of it. He's like, oh, I don't know why it's not working for some reason. And then he gives it to you and it's absolutely shattered. <laughs> okay, let's just pick apart the little piece or just take off the Are entire you thing. sure it will all fit back together? Well, they have to. That's how, that, that's how they work. Okay, so put that there. We're going to be working with this. Um, okay. Oh, God, those tiny screws. Yes. Get that one out of there. Come on. And this one. And this one. What does it say? Love always. Oh, that's cute. A little... A little stereotypey carpe diem infinity sign bird-esque. <laughs> but uh, it's fine. Oh, boy. Now this... That this is the sort of stuff that's most trouble because this is the sort of stuff where you can screw it up and then you don't know what you're doing, <laughs> or you don't know how to put it back together. Oh, it's completely cracked. I'll need to replace it. How does that just happen? Okay. The cogs look Ooh. good though. If I'm careful, I can reuse those. Ooh, yeah, those you need to be extra careful. Those things can break. Um, so, oh, use this. Hold on. No, don't, 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 no, don't, 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 hold on, hold on, hold your horses. I don't need my cup of coffee, I don't drink coffee anyway. No, I don't trust this, one second. Uh, wait, so, wait. Oh, there we go, oh, this part probably doesn't need to be used, okay, well, what about this other stuff then? Do it, can I unscrew this somehow? Oh, wait, wait. Yes, be careful. Be careful with that. Sm small bending intricate metal like that is not to be screwed with. Okay, nice. Put that down. Grab this back up and then this goes in the middle. Okay, apparently that's not good enough. Okay, this. Oh. 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 Okay. I thought the clock was taking on that one. I was like, hold on a minute. <laughs> Um, okay, well, what about this? I'm gonna have to... Wait, hold on, no, put that down. I'm gonna have to replace the glass on this. Uh, yes. Take that back out. And then... Oh, yeah, okay, and screw the... How would you even get, like, a screw in there, probably? Pro properly. Okay, just apparently by breaking the... The... the or breaking... Or, well, just sort of clipping into the thing, I guess. It is Monument Valley, after all. Messing with perspectives is their deal. Uh, yeah, pick that all, pick that up and throw that over there. Grab this. I should have probably have left more time in the last episode. I didn't even like consider the fact that oh yeah, of course these going to be harder. Without this watch, since my wife gave it to me. Oh. Okay, hold on. Don't you worry, Mister. We'll get this fixed in no time. There we go. Apparently, all the screws just fit every place, which is absolutely not true. But I get why you did it for like gameplay purposes. Uh, this? Yes. Oh, yeah, of course you can just click that back in. No, 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 no problem, am I right? Uh, this. And then, the, come on, like this, yes. This, yes. I always wondered how, like, there's no battery. Where is there a battery? I, I, I don't know, I wonder how it keeps ticking. <laughs> I haven't looked that much into watches, I just know they work. Uh, okay, and then attach this. Hey! I'm missing a piece, aren't I? Oh, here it is. Look at me being a big, big dum-dum. Okay, put, so then put this here. That would mean it would... 
It takes! Yay! Okay, I was wondering why it didn't take and why I was... But I, I don't know. I thought maybe the gamey aspects of the game would just come into place and I actually had to... Um, put the whole thing together before it would take, but that doesn't make sense. Okay. Yes. If there's something missing... Like, um, or, or if you st still have like a piece, if you still have a piece after everything's put together, that probably means you've done it, done it wrong. Uh, yes? Hey! Schoenfelder Automatic 36. Again, I don't know if these are real models of anything, so... Oh. My fingers traced over the engraving on the back. I hoped fixing this was one small way I could help him move forward. Hmm. I can't believe it's working, Maria. Thank you. My wife was a brilliant woman. Feeling this ticking on my wrist, it makes me feel like she's still here. Oh. Watches measure minutes and hours like they're infinite. I didn't know we had so little time. <laughs> Even with Isabel, I barely see her. And when I do, she acts like she hates me. Just then, the phone rang. Even when he was at home, his work was never done. Uh, sorry, Tough Mary, being mayor, I have huh? to take this. I'll see you at the festival tomorrow. As I left, I turned and saw him pacing the floor of his office, his watch glinting in the afternoon sun. I hoped its quiet ticking would at least bring him some peace during the busy days to come. Helping people out by fixing, fixing small stuff like this that can't really be replaced. That's the sort of uh, awesome... That, that's... Oh, what is this? Wait, what is this? Is this like a projector? It's a projector. I thought for a second it was a Polaroid camera. I was like, what the heck? That's the weirdest Polaroid camera I've ever seen. But yes, I think it's a projector. You just slot in the when image. My last job of the day oh, of course it's you. Apartment, the door was opened by someone I didn't expect to see. Helena. Hmm. Sorry for inflicting this mess on you. Carmen's never seen a knickknack she doesn't want to buy, apparently. Carmen's apartment was a little chaotic, but totally charming. It was easy to imagine her living in a place like this. Yeah, she's got pallets. Pallets are very... were used a lot in, like, furniture in Denmark. Because it's sort of rustic. It definitely wasn't Helena's style. She seemed more upmarket than flea market. <laughs> I wondered why she was even here. We're having a clear out. Or at least I am. Carmen's not helping. As usual. There's a market at the festival tomorrow. I'm selling some of these things to make her some... Oh. So sweet. She says she has nothing when there's all this stuff right under her nose. Helena stepped delicately past the items on the floor and reached down to pick up Sisters one after all. Pile. Look at this slide projector. Our parents treasured it, but Carmen treats it like a piece of junk. Can you take a look? Yeah, like, if you have some freaking, like, if there's some stuff that you have in your house that's, like, from more than 30 years ago, you should probably pay attention to that stuff because that could be much more valuable today. There's many collectors that collect retro stuff like this. Understandably, it's awesome, um, but still, I mean, if you don't need it, it's a good way to make a little bit of money. Uh, okay, j just take the entire thing off, Jesus. What is... Okay, 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 so I see the light issue. Um, can I just unscrew it? Yes, okay. Light bulb is completely smashed. Okay, I'll need to redirect the light, the lens at the top, for the projector to work. At the the, the 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 what? At the what? At the what now? Okay. I'm assuming I need these as well. Oh, oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. Okay, that's cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to be able to look at it sort of like this. Then I need to spinny. Oh, and then no, grab the thing again. And then... Uh, 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 uh. There we go, I think that... Okay, I think that's it. But what about this then? Do I need to... Oh, okay, well, oh yeah, yeah, okay, so I need to unscrew the sides. I was wondering how I was gonna be able to see that. Screw it. Come on. Yes. Grab that. Oh, typical. Carmen's even managed to get a slide stuck in here. What? If there's... Oh, there's a stuck slide. Wait, no, put that back in. I wanna... Ugh, I don't know. I just want to grab that specific thing. I can't do that. And then use... God know how. Okay, there you go. Oh, wait. There we go. Hey! 
I was so excited when I moved to the city. Carmen, she looks so sad. Aww. Here's the clicker you'll need to attach. <laughs> God knows how Carmen broke that as well. You guys are cute. Okay, so this thing, yeah, it needs to be. Wait, where does it need to be attached again? Oh, okay, so here, yes, and then it needs to be combined to. Wait, okay, so. Okay, wait, so maybe. Wait, how do I attach these two? I don't know. Like, I see it! I see it right there, ma'am! That's not the problem! The problem is just that I. Oh, maybe it's because it needs to sit here? Oh, I am the dumb. I'm the dummy. Okay, so I, then I, and then you press on that and it switches. Okay. Oh. It's all right. Oh, it's just gonna keep going until I um, get to the image again. Parts missing. Still a few parts missing. Not really. I did. I mean, you can just always put these back in if you want. So there you go. And then, oh yeah, this is missing. Put. Wait, there's still a bunch of screws missing. Actually, okay. Just a bunch of screwing left to do. <laughs> you know that, you know what they say. Okay. Keep the innuendos to get the scripts. I've never really seen a projector like this. Yeah, like one where the actual cards are on the outside. This thing must be a little old at least. Okay. So, does that not mean it? When oh. we were younger, Carmen was always following me around. Mm -hmm. I suppose she looked up to me. Yeah, oh, of course. Sister. Of course she did. Are you, are you bonding over old memories now? She used to ask me when I was coming home. But I was always too busy. Maybe that's one of the things this game is about. Just, I don't know. Remembering people Rada care. Was transfixed, staring at the two young sisters the projector had brought glaringly into focus. Oh. I. I never meant to let her down. But you haven't, have you? You came all this way just to help with the cafe, plus the money. <sighs> That's the problem. There is Ooh. no money. I lost my job a few months ago. My savings are almost gone. I have nothing. Aww. Guys. Common things. I'll throw my checkbook at her bad decisions and make them okay. But I can't. Not this time. You know, the funny thing is, I came here wanting to tell her the truth. But she's so infuriating. How can I ask her for help when all she cares about is herself? Helena fell silent, shrinking under the gaze of her younger self, projected onto the wall. We drifted so far apart when I moved away. It felt like the only thing keeping us together was my bank balance. Oh, Jesus, man. I know I have to tell her the truth. It isn't fair. But I already lost everything else. <sighs> what if I lose her too? Jeez, man. Things got heavy, real quick. Okay, well there's there's too many or there's too few left for me to quit now, so I'm just gonna go all the way to this. What is that even? Boiler, oh, it's an old gas boiler. That's what it is, well, like a camping boiler. The day of the festival finally came and after all my hard work, I was ready to put down my tools and pick up a fork. The smell as I entered the main square was incredible. Each stall was selling food even more delicious than the last. The competition would start any minute. Most stall holders were waiting anxiously for the mayor to pay them a visit. All of them, that was, except Carmen, who was still <laughs> frantically chopping vegetables and stirring pots. Maria! Thank God you're here! Can I ask you the world's biggest favor? Helena was supposed to help me run the stall today, but she never turned up. Probably too ashamed to show her face. I can't believe she lied to me. 
Carmen was stirring so furiously, she was in danger of tipping the pot over altogether. The mayor will be here any minute for the judging. Oh, that sound effect. I'm almost out of my special. She wasn't really going to ask me, was she? Not on my day off. I have a stove ready to build and everything. Can you oh. set it up and make me a spare batch? Oh, that can't be too hard. I take that back. What in God's name am I looking at? Okay. Um. Ah. Uh, oh God. Ah, <laughs> uh, Carmen's veggie soup. Half a carrot, one broccoli, three wild mushrooms, and plenty of. Uh, I don't know what that is. Okay, so. Wait, do I need the leaf as well? I don't know. Okay. Calm down, everyone. It's no, no, no biggie. I just need to put this thing together. This. This must be easy, right? This this can't be hard. Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, sure, that there. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad. Eh? eh? Really? I can't attest the the last one, please. There we go. Nice. It all Ooh. fits. Now to light the gas. Oh, okay. Light the gas. Yes. Grab a. This is probably a bad idea. Uh, grab a matchstick. Yes. Ooh! Oh, those look satisfying. Okay. Oh, okay, I need to turn on the gas. Th this is a great idea, what I'm doing right now. Hey! Okay. And then place that, and then put the stove on top, and then... Just put the broth in? Where am I wrong? <laughs> I oh, yeah, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Also, it doesn't look like broth. It looks like, um, stew. I think that pot is really boiling now. It smells great, if I say so myself. Hmm. Then you didn't cook it. I don't know why you say that. <laughs> Here are the ingredients All that proud. has given me. What to add first? One pint of stock. Ha quarter stick. What? A quarter stick of half a carrot? Is that what that says? Wait, no, something else is... Uh, two broccoli florets is what I can see. I, I, I'm guessing it doesn't matter which, like, in which I add these, right? I hope not. One. Oh, two. Oh, that is very green. Oh, boy. Um, a handful of chopped tomatoes. Yes. Looks good. I'll scoop a spoonful when I'm ready to serve. Yeah, when you're ready to serve. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Uh, a handful. What is a handful? A handful? Does that mean... I'm guessing a lot of them, right? Okay, like this. Just the entire tomato. No, that, no. Okay. Three wild mushrooms. These aren't wild mushrooms. Uh, plenty of what? Okay, I'm guessing it says half, yeah, half a carrot. So half a carrot's going in. I don't know why we're just throwing in half a carrot. Uh, the, the three wild mushrooms. I'm guessing. I'm guessing like that because it, th th those are halves, by the way. That's why I'm adding. Okay, so three, plenty of what? I'm guessing half a quarter stick of butter. So yeah, like about this. So we we have half a carrot, stick of butter, pint of stock. This is this is confusing. I'm not ready! No! That's not- No, 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 That is not what I meant. I am not ready yet. Hold on. No, I cannot do- Game? You motherfucker. My part done, Carmen took over and added the finishing touches. It was just in time, and a moment later, Joseph arrived with Izzy in tow. Carmen anxiously handed them both a serving. It's gonna suck. That was so tasty. Can ah. I have some more, please? Maybe. Well, 
You've certainly earned yourself a loyal customer in my daughter. We have a few more meals to taste, but so far you are one of the best. Good luck. I but there was I was missing things! I was missing something! Oh no, okay. Joseph and Izzy looked so happy together. Maybe the festival was doing them some good after all. Oh, that's good. Carmen, on the other hand, seemed annoyed. But why, when it had all gone so well? I wish Helena was here to see this. She's so convinced I'll never succeed at anything. That's not true. She wants what's best for you. She's just not very tactful about it. Mm. Yes, I, I, know, I know, I know. Even when I was a kid, she pushed me when no one else did. I just wish she hadn't lied to me. But then, I've asked so much of her over the years. I never stopped to think how much she actually had to give. Mm. Self-realization, self-reflection. Do more of that, please. Boiling point. I cannot believe... I. What would have happened if I just gave him broccoli soup? <laughs> I have no idea. Harmony. Yes! Oh, we gotta get some freaking old one of... What's it called? A freaking... The festival finished. I only had one day oh, left I don't remember what I it's called. My train a vinyl? Leave Bella Riva behind. A vinyl player? I couldn't go without saying goodbye to Carmen. No! So, that evening, I made my way to the cafe. So I'm gonna go? It was unrecognizable. She'd done it. Best food in Bella Riva. Half the town was outside waiting to see what the fuss was about. Maria! Maria! My favorite sous chef! Come on through! It was Carmen. I wonder Acting if there was a different ending if I just messed it up. The successful cafe owner she deserved to be. Even Helena was there, serving the coffees. This was the last place I expected to see her after yesterday's drama. Mm. Carmen led me through to a balcony upstairs, where she brought out an old record player. I found out where Helena was on the day of the festival. She was selling her camera to clear the cafe's debts. But then she didn't have much left for herself. So, I've asked her to come and stay with me for a while. We have a lot of catching up to do. I was she sold on camera to cheer her up. We listened to it all the time when we were kids. Do you think it has one last tune in it? <sighs> Hold on. Hold on. Come on. There you go. I couldn't do a lot of finger cracking. Ow, my hands. But still, don't you worry. Hey, I will fix this. See what happens when we turn this on. Yeah. This is a very delicate vinyl player. You need to be extra careful that you don't end up actually bend accidentally bending the tip, so just... <laughs> just grab it and shake it all about. Yeah, just smack that plate on down there. Who needs it? Smack that down there. Who needs it? This wiring isn't connected properly. Oh, okay. Uh, oh yeah, it isn't. Oh yeah, it isn't. Okay, hold on, hold on. What am I looking at? So, put this there. Yes. And then... This... Needs to be connected to this. Yes. That's the speed dial connected. Now we should be able to change it. Yeah, like that, I right? I think that should do it. This record should play beautifully. Unless something is wrong with it that we have yet to find, because this seems too easy, in my personal opinion. Wait, no, hold on. I don't need this. I, I got. What I'm guessing is something is going to be wrong with the vinyl tip. Because that's usually what breaks after a long time. The vinyl or the, the, the actual thing that plays the, the song. So, but we can try. Hmm, it's spinning the wrong way. How can I get it to play in the right direction? It must be to do with the motor. Let's see if one of these spares can turn things around. That sounds less than pleasant. <laughs> okay, grab that. How the hell did the motor start turning the wrong way? I have no idea. Okay, so it's this, right? Uh, so it's just one of these? Is that the problem? I don't know. Uh, so do I need to take out the... Oh, take off the band. Yes. Uh, I don't know if we need to take off that yet. I do need to take off this. I should be able to hear it now. What? Hold on. Model number U5... 7... U5... Yeah, yeah, this is the one. This is the accurate one. This is the right one. Uh, put that in there. Put this in this. And put the rubber band back on, because we need that. 
And then, no, no, not, not yet. You can't just do that, you madman. Put this back on, and then you can press the button. Well, it's playing in the right direction. I should check it's turning what at the correct speed. Yeah, I probably isn't. Oh, that is... <laughs> that is so par at best. There we are! But it doesn't it work? Aren't we done? Oh, I am an idiot. Mm, of course, so turn that bad boy up. Put this disc up there and then smack. What will remain of these days? Record player, Ida Phone Fidelity. Again, I don't know the models. I've never heard the of any of these, so I don't know if they're real. Tune must have caught Helena's ear as she appeared a few moments later. Is that my old record player? I can't believe you've kept it all these years, Carmen. Leaning over the music, they looked just like the young sisters the slide projector had preserved all these years. Inseparable, once again. Good for you. Carmen told me about your camera. That was a really generous thing to do. I loved that camera, but I love my sister more. Now it's her time to be the person she wants to be. I'm going to stay here with her for a while. Make up for lost time. Carmen and Helena's relationship wasn't suddenly going to be perfect, but they were both prepared to try. And to think, it had all started because of a call Carmen made about some seasoning tips. True. I guess in the end, maybe it wasn't so hard to just pick up the phone and dial. I hadn't spoken to my own parents in a year. I a year? To hear the voices more than anything. But the silence forgive you. between us was so cavernous. I didn't know how I'd ever find the words to bridge it. Sometimes you don't need to. Sometimes honesty is a-okay. You don't need to go through all that social awkwardness. Just be upfront about it. A father's reprise. Or reprise, some might call it, even. My final morning in Bella Riva, I received one last call out to Joseph and Izzy's house. I knew I had to pack. But I figured I could squeeze in one final job before I had to leave. Hmm. When I arrived, I found Joseph tidying up his wilderness of a garden. The playhouse was already cleared. Inside, I could see Izzy happily testing out her screw driving skills on the back of her cassette deck. Be careful, you don't break it. You've made quite the impression. Isabel, <laughs> Izzy, tells me she's <laughs> going to be a repair woman like Maria. <laughs> I'm sure she could be anything she wanted if she put her mind to it. A little milk toasty, but I'll let it slide. She could. She's a brilliant child. Spending the day with her at the festival, I haven't had so much fun in ages. I wanted to give her something before she starts to forget. Inside, the house was transformed, flooded with light and the sounds of the garden. It felt alive again. This would be my last repair in Valeriva, but it felt like it was the house that had really been restored. Mm. It's a music box. It used to play beautifully, but now when I wind it up, nothing happens. Mm. Is, it some, is it a gift from I'd mom? Love for Izzy to hear oh. it sing again. Can you help? Yes. Yes. Now this is scary. This is intricate stuff. You cannot just replace this. But let's try our best. Okay. Um... Okay. Oh, Jesus. I'm just gonna pop off it's the top of it like that? Okay. So, take that off, I guess. Uh, take off the top, put that there. Oh! Oh, that's broken. Okay, hold on. So there's a screw at the bottom. Oh! Okay. Wow, there's a lot of intricate pieces just on the inside of everything. I'm guessing that is how music boxes sometimes work. Or maybe there's just a core like that, even on the inside. Screw this, yes. Go, hold on, okay. Uh, there we go. I really have to drag the mouse far just to sort of... There we go, nice. Uh, and that means that I can pick out this, yes. Much easier to work without this entire thing. I would love to have a music box. completely broken. I'll need to take it all apart before I can fix it. I want a music box that plays Memory or Home from Undertale. Ooh, 
Oh yeah, wow, holy crap, even the drum of the entire thing is broken. Uh, yeah, I see the issue. So, this needs to be... I think I can just grab it, right? Yeah. Good god. Yeah, get that out of there. But isn't the drum... How would you... Re you can't just... Okay, let me say it like this. You can't just fix that. Isn't the drum... Um, like, like, because you see those different tacks on the drum, right? You see those. Those are the ones that play, or that's the actual rhythm of the sound that's gonna come out of that thing permanently. It's sort of like you need to think of it as a melody that is there permanently. You can't just really, you need parts like that custom made. You can't just really, or at least I think so. I don't think you can just go buy this sort of stuff. Unless I'm, unless I'm completely wrong. But I'm pretty sure it is like the actual song that's gonna be playing in the music box that's inscribed on this thing forever, so. Don't know how you got that. You must be a wonder repair, repair woman, lady, because supply is nothing you have to worry about. Uh, okay, put this, this. Okay, I don't, uh, uh, bold move. I don't know if I did anything right. Oh, this works. Yes. No. Dang it. I can test it, though. Hey, it plays! Okay, so that's a wonder, but, um... What about all the other parts here? Shouldn't those be attached as well? Oh wait, this! Yes! This is it! I don't know why... I don't know why I could hear the sound of the music playing, because that thing shouldn't even be able to fit at all. But yes! Perfect! Perfect. The mechanism is good as new. Put that baby- Oh god, don't drag out the screw for no reason. Um, put that back in there? Maybe? Oh, hold on, put that- yes. Turn that upside down. Screw that bad boy back in. This is so nice. Like, everything from the music to the just the aesthetic. Like, it isn't even a complete still screen. It's sort of like... Sort of, you can see the, the way everything switches up. Or it, it sort of flashes these different ac acrylics in your face. The, the freaking people who made this game know how to do visuals. Very nicely. Okay. So I'm gonna put that there. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Just put it in there. Yes. Flip it upside down, put this thing in here, yes. Oh, it's because it's a little, mmm, I see, it's because it's a little drawer, okay. And then, does that mean that that's technically it? Wait, what needed to be glued on? Well, there's certainly one thing that's missing, I can tell that. Oh, this, okay. There's something up in here that's missing. I think. Okay. Take this out. Yes. Maria, could you add this family picture of us? Yes. Of course I could. Put that in... Okay, hold on. Put this in there. You're being complicated. Put that there. There's a spin around. Yes, there we go. Put that there, or don't. Okay, so maybe just maybe I just need to put it down. Oh right, the glue. Okay, of course, I am silly. I don't know why you need to glue it in there though. You could just sort of slip it in and then put it behind the rim of the glass, but it's fine. Uh, put in the screws and then I think we're just about done here. I was wondering why, what I needed the glue for and I was worried that there was something else missing. Okay, so wait, does that mean? Oh, there's a missing piece in there. It wasn't just decoration, there was a missing piece. How stupid am I on a scale from 1 to 10? I have no idea. Okay, just put that there, and there we go. Now, now, now it's perfect. Oh, that's cute. I like that. But wasn't that it, though? Oh, yeah, fuck, I can't even forget to put that. There you go. I think that's everything back together again. I should play it to make sure. Oh, shut up. I just did. <laughs> My wife used to sing this song to Izzy each night before bed, but I always worked too late to join them. Oh. Will you dream a dream for me? Will I sit by your side and hold you so tight? Know that I will always love you Even though we both know that we must say goodnight That's so sad <sighs> uh, 
Portofino Dovnist. Okay. I've missed so Oh my god, that actually made me slightly teary eyed. I want to be the father my wife I'm weak. Me to be. I've ended up so much like my own father. Working all the time. Izzy needs me more than that. Especially now it's just the two of us. My daughter comes first. Well, until she gets bored of her stuffy old dad. <laughs> it's gonna happen eventually. I'm not kidding, it'll either. never happen. Izzy came running into the room where Joseph scooped her up and onto his shoulders. She gazed at the music box, her eyes shining. I'd never seen her look so happy. Thank you, Maria, for everything. The things you fixed for me. <laughs> I'm so glad to have them back. <clears throat> Joseph was a good father, and I could tell he was determined to be an even better one. When it came down to it, that was all any of us wanted. A second chance to make something You're just getting right. pushed in all the right directions, aren't you? Maria. My time in Bellariva was almost over, but before I left, I knew there was something of my own I needed to fix. I cannot believe I almost got teary-eyed from that. Are you kidding me? How weak am I? Oh, I need to pack. Ooh. Okay, I can do this. I'm sorry this has been a very long episode. My time in Bellariva was almost at an end. Another chapter finished in a story whose ending I hadn't felt ready to write. The people I'd met, the items I'd restored, they'd taught me so much about what was really important. Pulling out my suitcase from beneath the bed, I remembered the day I stole it from my parents' shop. The day I left. Afterwards, I was too ashamed to call them. To apologize, it was a guilt I'd been carrying around every day since. As I packed, I knew that it was up to me to find a way to lighten the load. Mm. Ooh, wait. Oh, Carmen's wild veggie soup. Hell yes. The recipe uh, for just Carmen's one special. dress apparently because I'm, under I'm extremely light on crow clothes. My life. Well, you can't read it anyway. Wait, so what, what does that say? I wanna see. It says something season. I don't know, so put that uh in here, yes. Or don't, what are you doing? Just put that there. Yeah, that's all I wanted. My train ticket. I can't believe it's time to leave Bellariva behind. Yeah, it was quick. I wasn't here long, was I? I was barely like... Oh yeah, I was staying at a hotel. I forget. My parents would love Bellariva. Maybe I can convince them to make the trip. Maybe. History of watches. Elena gave me these designer shirts. Not sure I'll pull them off as well as she does. <laughs> Maybe not. Who gave you the dinosaur? Izzy gave me this in exchange oh, for my course. repair manual. She'll be a pro in no time. <laughs> and our cool ass There's freaking of light reading for the player. Trailer. It does look cool. Oh yeah. Hero. Cool. You gonna comment on this? Or are you just gonna keep commenting on the model Soundtrack place? Soundtrack to my travels. I'll be listening to this on the journey. Mmm. Aventura Classic. My suitcase was full, but it was my heart that felt heavy as I made my way to the station. I was sorry to be leaving Bellariva behind, but I hoped that in my own small way I'd made a difference. Helena and Carmen's reunion was possible because they'd learned to overcome their differences. Joseph had realized he shouldn't let his grief or his work get in the way of his relationship with Izzy. They'd each learned to see things from someone else's perspective. Maybe it was time I saw things through my parents' eyes. Mm. I knew it would be easier to jump on the next train, put even more distance between us. But I finally felt ready to talk to them. I just didn't know if they would feel the same. Did of course. I remember their number? I wasn't sure until I reached for the phone and it all came flooding back. Hello? Mom? Dad? Maria? Is that you? 
Hey! Michael Anderson. Joel Beardshaw, what a manly name. Laura DeMay, David Fernandez Huerta. Happy Flores, Stan Gray, Oscar Giadora, Austin Kilmore, and Adrian Law, and Danette Beatty, Chris Cox. Oh. Good job on the freaking, I, I will say, Nina Toussaint White. What a name. But still, there were some really good voice actors in this. There was so much like with the sound and everything. It's a very simple game. There was not a lot to it at all. It was very easy peasy. Uh, it wasn't it, like there wasn't that much to it except that. It was just a fun little puzzle game. But still, everything about it was very well executed to the sound and everything. So nice. Oh yeah, also, real credit to Maria's mom, Sissy Jones. You, came, you really delivered that one line. <laughs> Martin Vohan. Oh, yeah, us two games. I think they made uh, Monument Valley. That was sweet. That was enjoyable. That was so nice. That was so wholesome. Epilogue. Carmen's like, wait, wait, no. Mm. Oh. Dear Maria. Carmen here. Sorry I haven't written. The cafe's been absolutely manic since you left. Luckily, I have Helena here to help. You wouldn't recognise her. She's like a new woman. Looks the same, but still, I get it. She's always running around, taking orders and making drinks. I even heard her compliment a customer on their outfit. Personally, I draw the line at fluorescent green bowling shirts, but each to their own. <laughs> it certainly made the customer smile. She misses the city, though. Bellariva's many things, but it's definitely not as chic as she'd like. She said there was a coffee shop near her old apartment where they made coffee with a shape drawn on top. That's not that it got me uncommon. Thinking, I'm an award-winning chef. I can figure out how to put a leaf on a cappuccino. A bit of yeah. cosmopolitan coffee might be just what Helena needs. Of course, ordering a new coffee machine was the easy part. I wish you could have seen the mess I got into trying to put the thing together. <laughs> My dad actually runs a restaurant. So I I, uh, I know a lot of, or I know a lot of this pain, like, secondhand almost. Okay. Oh boy, that is actually quite... Driver a million times. Taking this apart will be easy. You sure? This actually seems like the most complicated project yet. But I'll let it slide. I want to do this one last time. There you go, come on. There you go, nice. And open the bottom. I'm just gonna start with taking everything apart because I have no idea where to start with a freaking coffee machine. Uh, yes, take that off. Ooh, or take that entire top off. Oh! These pipes look pretty simple. I should start with them. Yeah, because they all have signs and symbols on them, but I'm guessing that's the only reason. She'd know how to put these pipes together. She would, but also grow up. Dude, start being crafty yourself. Uh, this. Oh boy, this is messy. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. There's a cookie down there. Uh, wait, so there, wait, 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 wait. What about this thing then? Nope, that does not help jack shit. Uh, 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 wait, maybe it did? Oh, there it is. Okay, that wasn't too bad. But that does not explain everything else in this chaotic situation. Where, oh, maybe it's, wait, hold on. I think so, I think maybe, okay, so this goes in here. This goes here, then this goes here? Yes, Finally, of course I'm genius. <laughs> it isn't even on, why would you? It's not even on. Why, why does it make Steve in the first place? I don't know. Okay, so this one is gonna be, wait, no, wait, 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 no. Where was the board? Where was the gigantic, oh, that was just put down underneath. Okay, so what? <laughs> what do you want me to do here? Maybe there's something behind this and I'm just an idiot. I actually think there is. Why would they put screws here in the back otherwise? Oh my good God, there is. Okay, that explains a lot. Um, wow, spinning this thing around is a little weird. 
Uh, okay, so one. Yeah, sure. Okay, you know what? Let's just put them in like this. Let's just assume coffee is three, light is two. Uh, yeah. Then take this, connect. To, oh my God! Why does it? Why does everything have to be so skewed? Just turn up right side, please. There you go. And then two, be lights. Yes. I just need to connect the circuit. That's all. It's not that hard. Not that bad. There you go. And then this. And then everything is hunky dory. Am I right or am I wrong? Hold on. I want to check if this actually works. Are all of these parts supposed to go in there? It does work, but uh, I just need to actually screw everything together now. There we go. Bish, bash, bosh. And there you go. I think that's everything. Yeah. Better test the buttons just to make sure. Yeah, of course they work. I'm a master at this. I already did it. Plus everything. Like when you get this complicated, you can definitely tell the game is sort of eased out for you by giving you all the different symbols and stuff. But um, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, there you go. Oh, I don't done. know what the weird Please handle pay. thing does. Time to make my first coffee, I think. Hell yeah. You go, Carmen. Oh no, yeah, I, di I didn't actually mean... Yeah, I meant like you. Not me. Oh, whatever. Fine. So, that... Uh, what? 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 So do I need this? And then, like, a cup? Uh... Oh, making coffee! I can make coffee! I've never made coffee in my life. I've only made it very few times, I think. Mm, smells delicious. Now to Definitely smells better than it tastes. Oh, right, this. This madness. Okay. Am I gonna actually be doing that? Don't tell me. Oh, no. No, don't make me. Don't make me. I'm not good with coffee creamers, things, whatever. Okay, oh. No, no, no. Mm. I don't know how to do this. Like this? Mmm, a perfect coffee. All it needs is a saucer and a Are you kidding me? It looks like I made a penis. <laughs> sure. Uh, there we go. Now I've served you a banana wiener. <laughs> fine, fine. You know what? I did it, I and I'm happy. I was feeling more has been than coffee queen by the time I'd made a drink fit for human consumption. Mm. It looked a bit uh, mm, postmodern, but knowing <laughs> Helena's refined tastes, I hope she'd think it was intentional. No. Always the connoisseur. She didn't even bother to look at it at first. She was so busy wafting it under her nose. She <laughs> up her glasses, of course. How was she going to see my work of art through an eye full of fog? <laughs> when she finally spotted it, though, she was totally impressed. Not really. I made a banana wiener. I, that's I'll what admit, I did. She spent several minutes trying to figure out exactly what it was I'd drawn. Okay. <laughs> she decided it was probably a horse. <laughs> well, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. She was impressed enough to ask for another one. I guess I'll need to get some practice in. Yeah, you the do. The whole thing was such hard work, Maria. You can also actually get 3D print, or you can, or you can get sort of printers where it prints the cream under your coffee. Uh, or where it prints those, yeah, it sort of dusts the top of the foam of your coffee. Uh, so it actually has like pictures on it. It made me realize how much I have to thank you for, so I wanted to say that now. Better latte than never. <laughs> Hoping you're well. Your friend, Carmen. I don't know how, how how much strain this friendship will take, Carmen. If you if you're gonna keep that uh, that pun game up, I, I I don't know. I gotta be fair with you. So is that it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I'm just saying that because I cannot fit any more puzzles into an episode. It's been like an hour. I am very very sorry about that. But yeah, that was a lovely little experience. I wish you could sort of go back to the main menu, but I can't. If I click quit, it just asks me if whether or not I want to quit the, quit the game. And I just want to sort of end it off here. So yeah, that was or Assemble with Care. That was the name of the game. 
a really fun little experience um, and I actually found this game because I was looking up on Steam and saw that the people who made Monument Valley were actually working on something new, a game that's going to be released all the way in winter. So I was wondering what they'd done with all their time in between um, then and now and then it turned, it turned out that they have made this game uh, and I just saw it and I thought okay. I have to play this. This is like assembling old retro shit and I absolutely love that. And I will admit, I quite did. The story is very simple, but again, the execution of it is so nice and it's like, it doesn't need to be more than this. And you can buy it. If you want to play this game, by the way, you can buy it on Steam for six euros. Or if you want to play it on iPhone, then I bet you can. I bet you can find this on the App Store somewhere or maybe even on Android as well. I don't know. All I know is that I think this was originally a mobile game, although I might be wrong on that. But yeah, really nice experience. So if you watched an entire hour of that and you sat here with me all the way to the end, Thank you so much. It means a lot to me that there's people out there who are willing to watch me play an hour of something so niche like this, who are, who are willing to support me when I even decide to play those niche indie games that just sort of catch my interest out of nowhere. Really, honestly, uh, you guys are one of the reasons that I keep doing this. So honestly, thank you. And thank you all so much for watching. And I catch you all in the next one. Peace.